Hi, uh, welcome to all. This tutorial, I am going to highlight some of the Visual Studio 2019 features. This mainly how to enable and uh, disable this feature. This um, video tutorial focus on that only. First, if you open the Visual Studio, this dialog will default. It will come here. You can see that to open recent items, your project details, and uh, these are the some of the highlighted menu if you want to create the new project you can click here create new project and get stuck yeah so this is a new dialog to create the new project here you can we can uh, select filter option option is available based on the language we can filter let's say for example C sharp and the platform you can choose windows and project types like for example uwp so that get filter based on our filter criteria if you don't want click the back button it will go to again the main we can open the solution directly or folder or from github or azure devops we can open directly from here so i just started here continue without code So I just explain how to enable or disable. Actually, you don't want to display this window. If you click that Visual Studio 2019, it directly open Visual Studio ID. This feature to you don't want to like uh, this is a new project type. You don't want like this one. You want to go to back to your old style of project type selection. And the third feature is that menu get uh, adjusted. Now they moved the preview version here and we get more space for the editor so you don't like this feature also you want to go back to this preview in the, in the top you want the old style of like a visual studio 2017 features how to enable or disable these features if you go to tools go to options and environment select the preview features microsoft clearly said this just a preview version it they, they may or may not be available in the next version of Visual Studio. They given this statement, but I hope it's this feature is available in uh, next version or uh, final RTM version for the Visual Studio. So these are the options. Uh, let's say for example, we, you want to go back to your old style of create project. So go to here, environment preview features, uncheck this one. So show such filter option for creating project. I don't like this. I just click OK. Then if you click this project, that old version come to, old version it will display. And second one, uh, okay, and just go back here in the third, second one, I want the old style of menu item. This previous version, it's in the top, you know, that feature if you want, you can unselect this one, use compact menu and search bar, just uncheck it. And if you don't want to, that, Initially, we seen one uh, recent dialog. No, that also you don't want. You uncheck these features. That's it. Click OK. So these two features, this um, menu item get adjust and uh, that open recent dialog. These two features, if you want to enable or disable, you have to restart the Visual Studio. I again, I close this Visual Studio. I click again. So now you see that dialog is missing and the menu is go in the top. I hope you can understand how to enable and disable these features. Now next I am going to explain another feature in Visual Studio 2019. For that I am just creating a new project. I like a new dialog. So I enable that dialog options yeah next time uh, select all so create new project sorry new project type uh, c sharp or if you don't want you can don't need to filter you can type directly the project name so blank application next this is a configure uh, 
which will show your 2019 demo and create uh, default options I selected SDK version this is a just demo you can use uh, any project template so let it create fine it's created so I open one of the C sharp file which is a new file So this feature, uh, I go to here tools, here in options, this time I go to text editor and general. Here you can see that first, uh, the down option, so f file health indicator. So this is uh, this option, file health indicator. This is uh, just for main purpose to remove, uh, make the coding standards. So if you want, you can just right click, run code cleanup, or you can go one by one and clean up the code. Here you can select the option, what this cleanup has to do. I'm go with the default option only right now. Just click it. So it will remove unwanted namespace and whatever the code related issues is there, it get removed. And second option here, view white space. I click this one so this data line it will come previously you can see only that uh, you know open and close braces now if you want uh, white spaces you want to see that we can enable these features and otherwise it's not required uh, close this is also one of the feature and next feature is in the solution explorer now I want to create one more project here just right click sorry right click add a new project same like uh, demo 2 go with the default yeah that is creating this project creating fine okay No. Suppose you, you have so many project in the solution, so you want to make load fast. So some of the project uh, you don't want to use it in your development purpose. Just that project is a supporting purpose. You you should not do anything on that. So that it, it you don't want to load that project. For example, if a ten project is there, if you don't want to load some five or six project, you want to only load five projects. Something like that. That maybe. If you unload it, the project getting loaded very fast in the Visual Studio. So, Visual Studio 2019 they give one option. For example, if I now I create a demo two, I don't want to load this project in next time. So here we'll do first unload project. Yes. Now go to Solution Explorer, right click, and here you can see one new option: Save as Solution Filter. Click that. You can give a new name, uh, let's say example, a project filter. Just copy this one and save. Get saved. So next time, I just close this solution. Yes, everything. Okay, yeah, this also one of the this also one of the option. If you close the project, then automatically this window window it will prompt. While uh, initial time we see no, this same dialog will prompt which project you want to open. So I I saved the file as a project filter. Initially started with the VS 2019 demo, then I applied the filter. I saved the solution. So now this solution is called project filter. Click again. Now it's getting loading now preparing solution yeah 
now go to solution explorer you see that the second project gets unloaded it's not loading so this way we can get our project loading fast this is the first part of this um, visual studio 29 features we'll see in the next tutorial soon thanks to all